today we are going to study how can we construct the linear functions now uh, okay now we already know that slope means m right slope can be represented by the letter m and the formula of m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 what is y2 minus y1 it is change in y and what is x2 minus x1 that is change in x so this is this gives you slope okay now another thing you should know that the equation of the linear line or the linear function is y equals to m x plus b now we already have seen just now that m means slope okay but what is this b b means y intercept and what is y intercept it is actually the place where the x value is zero so for example if i have 0 and 8 okay these are my points so you know that the first coordinate is x and the second coordinate is y so when x is 0 y is 8 it means that the y intercept is 8 let's take another example so another example let's see 0 and 5 now we know that the first value is x second is y so in our case when x is 0 the y intercept will be 5 okay now come to the actual question which says write a linear function with the slope of 4 slope means m right so m is given to us which is equals to So slope is four. Now after that, after that, if slope is four, so how to determine the b, right? Because without b we can't write the equation. So in order to find the b, you put the value of y and x and m. So what is x and what is y? This is x and this is our y now replace in the equation so in place of y we will write 3 equals to in place of m we will write this 4 and in place of x we will write negative 1 and plus b as it is now solve this 3 we will write as it is 4 times negative 1 will gives us negative 4 then write the plus b as it is now bring the negative 4 here so to solve this question we know that we have to bring this 4 on other side for that reason we will write plus 4 here and plus 4 here why to cancel this part so we will get b equals to 3 plus 4 gives us 7 now we have b and we have the m value write again y equals to replace m by this 4 keep the x as it is and replace then plus and replace b by positive 7 so this is how we construct a linear function if the slope is given to us and passes through some point now if you do not understand rewind the cassette and see again okay now next question write a function for a line that includes its point now what have you seen that m is not given to us okay so when m is not given it means we will use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 name any of the coordinate as x1 and y1 and the other will be x2 and y2 
you can write this one x2 y2 this is x1 by 1 no problem now replace the values so y2 is what negative 7 then put the negative formula and y1 is what negative 5 now we know that negative and negative gives us positive sign okay now what is x2 x2 is 8 minus and x1 is this one that is 4 now let's see here minus 7 plus 5 so 1 is positive 1 is negative we subtract so 7 minus 5 gives us 2 the big sign the big number is 7 so we put the negative sign and 8 minus 4 is 4 now you can simplify or you can keep it as it is it's completely up to you you want to simplify then simplify you can divide this by 2 yeah, because 2 and 4 goes in the table of 2 so here negative 2 times 2 divide 2 times 1 gives you 2 and 2 times 2 gives you 4 so our answer will be negative 1 over 2 okay now find out again you don't have the b equation of the line is y equals to m x plus b we don't have the b also right so any one of the values any 4 negative 5 or 8 negative 7 any one you can say and take it as x and y so y is negative 5 equals to what is m we just found negative 1 over 2 what is x x is 4 plus b now 2 4 divided by 2 gives you negative 2 because this is the negative sign 4 goes in the table of 2 2 times 2 4 that's why i wrote here 2 this negative 5 copy down and plus b write down as it is now bring negative 2 here so when this negative 2 goes there it becomes positive 2 so write positive 2 here write positive 2 here so 2 and 2 cancel 2 minus 5 or minus 5 plus 2 gives us negative 3 equals to b now we have m and we have b now write down y equals to mx plus b so m is negative half write the x as it is and b is negative 3 so this is how we construct any equation write a linear function for the line with slope negative 5 so m equals to what negative 5 points right here x right here y now let's see what is the equation of the line y equals to m x plus b now to determine or to find out this b we replace the y with this number that is 3 the m with the slope that is negative 5 bracket x with this number that is 7 and plus b as it is now 3 right as it is negative right as it is 5 times 7 35 and plus b right here bring negative 35 there so put here plus 35 and here also plus 35 now this cancel 35 plus 3 38 so b is 38 and m is negative 5 write down y equals to in place of m we write negative 5x and plus b is 38 so this is the linear function now write a function representing the line that includes the point 3 3 and negative 6 15 so name it first x1 y1 x2 y2 why we did this because we want to find the slope formula of slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 now what is y2 15 
minus what is y1? 3. x2 negative 6 minus x1 is 3. 15 minus 3 gives us 12. Now here negative 6, here negative 3. So when both are negative, we write the sign negative, but we add them. So 6 plus 3 gives us 9. Now you can see that they both goes in the table of 3. 3 times 4, 12 and this negative and 3 times 3 gives us 9. You can write 4 over negative 3 or negative 4 over 3. Both are same. So this is our M. Now Y intercept, right? In order to find Y intercept, that is B, right? You have an equation. Y equals to MX plus B. Now choose any easy point. So I choose 3, 3. This one is x and this one is y. So replace the y by 3. Equal m is negative 4 over 3. x is 3 plus b. Now can you see this 3 and the cancel? So 3 equals to negative 4 plus b. Bring the negative 4 on the other side. So you write here plus 4 and here also plus 4 this cancel. So B equals to 3 plus 4 gives us 7. Now go on this side equation of line. So Y equal M is here that is negative 4 over 3. Then write the X and B is plus 7. Next question. The cost C to a rent a car for D days is shown over here. So this is X and this is our Y. Write the equation. Okay. So first of all, in order to write the equation, we have this thing Y equal MX plus B. Choose any two points. So I can choose this one and I can choose this one. So this is my x1, x2 and this one will be y1, y2. I have a formula of slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Replace y2 is 288 minus y1 is 226. x2 is 4 minus x1 is 3. Okay, now let's check how can we how can we subtract? So 288 minus 226. 8 minus 6, 2. 8 minus 2, 6. And 2 minus 2 is 0. Then 62 up. And 4 minus 3 is 1. Anything divided by 1, answer is 62. Now I can see that my slope is here 62 only. So this could be my answer. But just to show you, I will write my y-intercept. So how to find my y-intercept? B, right? Y equals to mx plus b. So write here y, anyone choose it. Okay, so let's suppose I can choose this one. So in place of y, I will write 2, 2, 6. In place of m, I will write 62. In place of x, I will write 3 and plus b. Now multiply 62 times 3. 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 6, 80. So I will get 186 plus b. And here 2, 2, 6. Okay. Bring the 186 here. So I will write here minus 186 and here also minus 186. This cancel. 6 minus 6, 0. Now 8 doesn't go from 2. So I carry the 2, 1 from here. So it becomes 1. So 8, 12 minus 8 gives me 4. So B equals to 40. Now again you can see this one, right? 
this is my answer but let's write yourself y equal m is 62 x plus b is 40 now see in place of x they are writing the d in the question so i can write here d in place of y they are writing the c so i can write here the c so this is how i write my equation next question choose the function that represent the graph on the coordinate plane the first thing when you try to solve such kind of question find y intercept where is the y intercept on the graph it's always lie on the y axis only that means over here on this line so see where is the point of the graph only this point this is negative 1 negative 2 so what is your b b is negative 2 but if you see here they say it is 2 4 6 8 10 1 one box equal to 2 so it is negative 2 negative 4 negative 6 negative 8 negative 10 so b is not negative 2 it will be negative 4 so be precise don't make the mistake like i show you by doing a mistake that without checking we just say that one box equal to 1 cm or one unit no it can be two also if some numbers is already given to us okay now find the slope okay let's try for the slope in order to find the slope choose two points okay choose two coordinate points choose two points which will give you x1 y1 and x2 y2 any two points so one point we already chose here right it is 0 and negative 4 one more point choose choose which is very obvious don't choose this okay you can choose this one what is this it is negative 4 and 0 okay so here another point here it is 0 negative 4 and here negative 4 and 0 okay find the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 what is y2 y2 is 0 this one y2 x2 x1 y1 0 minus and y1 is minus 4 so minus minus gives us what plus over x2 x2 is minus 4 minus x1 is 0 so 4 divided by negative 4 you know 4 times 1 4 divide both will go in the table of 4 4 times 1 4 4 times 1 is 4 but there is a negative sign and anything multiply or divide by a positive negative sign it gives us negative so negative 1 this is our slope now what is the y intercept we have slope we have now our equation of line is y equals to mx plus b replace m by negative 1 then x as it is plus 4 b it will be negative 4 so we before the x if there is a number 1 we don't write it it can be written as negative x negative 4 so check where is the answer c is my answer construct a linear function again choose two points okay so check x1 y1 and this will be sorry x1 x2 and this will be y1 y2 find the slope slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 what is y2 minus 17 minus what is y1 minus 22 now minus minus gives us what gives us plus then what is x2 x2 is 3 minus 4 4 okay 22 minus 17 will give us 5 and 
minus 4 minus 3 gives us 1 but 4 is the bigger number so we will take its sign that is negative. 5 over 1 gives us 5 that there is a negative sign so just put it here. So you will have m equals to negative 5. Now what we have to do we have to find the b. So for that reason we will write y equal mx plus b. Now take the easy one anything. So let's see this one. Okay. So in place of y we will write negative 22. m is negative 5. x is 4 and plus b. So here this is the negative sign. 5 times 4 20 plus b. This negative 22 just write down. Now bring negative 20 on other side. So it becomes plus 20 here plus 20 here. This cancels. So B equals to. So negative 22 plus 20 gives us negative 2. Okay. Now write the equation. So Y equal M is negative 5. Keep the X as it is. And B is negative 2. That is your final answer. Now you can see there is a word problem. Kale has 20 gallons of gasoline to use for his snow plowing business. He uses gasoline, his snow plow at a constant rate. Let X be the number of dry waves plowed and Y represent the amount of gas remaining. Look at the graph, look at the graph and construct a function. Main thing is what is the equation of the line? What is the in initial value? What does it represent? What is the slope? And what does it mean? Is the graph discrete or continuous and why? Okay. So the first thing, what is the equation of the line? What is the initial value? So this is the initial value or y-intercept, right? That means 0 and 20. Okay, so 0 and 20 is the main, main y-intercept. First, we will see that how can we write or construct the equation and later on we will solve the other part of the, the other part of the word problem. Okay, now choose any point. Let's suppose this point is the nicest point that is 40 and 0. To find the slope, we have a formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2, let's see here, this is x1, y1 and this one is x2, y2. So our y2 is 0 minus y1 is 20, x2 is 40 minus x1 is 0. Minus 20 divided by 40. We know that they both goes in the table of 20. So 20 times 1, this negative here, 20 times 1 is 20 and 20 times 2 is 40. So this is my slope. Now I have the y-intercept, right? Y-intercept is what? Yani B is what? 20. Now write the equation of the line. That is y equal mx plus b. So y equal, what is m? It is negative half. x is what? x is as it is and b is plus 20. So this is how we write the equation of the linear function. So this is the linear function. We have written the equation of the line they are saying what is the initial value right so in order to determine the initial value you already have seen the y-intercept right so what was the y-intercept you can see that the y-intercept is 20 right so the initial value of the gasoline is 20 
Now you can see they are also saying that the x represent the number of driveways. Okay, so here it is the number of driveways. Okay, and they are also saying that y represents the amount of gas remaining. Okay, gas remaining. It means that when he started the journey, okay, when Kyle started the journey, the amount of gas was 20 gallons, right? The amount of gasoline was 20 gallons. Okay, what is the slope? We know that the slope is already half, right? Negative half, we just determined. What does, what does it mean? Now, you can see that the slope is negative, right? Because the slope is going down. So, you can see that as the number of driveways increasing, the amount of gas decreasing because it has a negative, negative slope. Is the graph discrete or continuous? Now, remember that the continuous graphs or the continuous function means that if we have any values in the fraction, okay, or in decimal, okay, if we have a fraction or decimal in our answer, then it means that the function is continuous. And if it is a whole number only, then whole number means only 2, 4, 6, 8, okay, like this 5, 3, 9, any number without the decimal, then it is a discrete function. So, we have our slope as negative half, which means that this is the fraction or if we change it into the decimal, it is negative 0 0.5. So, the function is continuous.